Hello, I just wanted to make a quick video to just uh, talk about my experiences with cataract surgery. Had cataract surgery on my right eye a couple of weeks ago at the uh, Central Coast Day Hospital in on the New South Wales Central Coast in Australia. Um, it was an une uneventful surgery. Um, it... Uh, I really wanted to, basically, um, I just wanted to talk about my specific experience. Um, the surgery was, was uneventful, as I said. Uh, really didn't know too much about it. When I first went in there, they um, put some eye drops in my eyes, took my blood pressure, eye drops to um, to dilate, dilate my pupils. Then I went... Uh, with the anaesthetists who um, actually marked marked my eye, um, and um, they then also ran a ran a cannula, uh, so I was sedated um, with um, with that type with that type of sedation and inline sedation. Uh, really, once they put me down on the table, I don't remember anything at all uh, until I woke up and I could just see people above me. That was when they were putting the eye patch on, on my eye. So that was all pretty uneventful. Uh, so that patch, went home with that patch that night. It was at 3 o'clock in the afternoon was the surgery. Um, and I already had a pretty good idea almost straight away. Even though I had the eye patch on, I could actually see out the sides of my eye, uh, past the eye patch, so I could see a painting on the wall and I could see... Um, a bookcase on on the other wall. That was all. That was all pretty. That was. Uh, I wouldn't say it was clear, but I could see that I could see anyway. So I was pretty pretty excited about that. Pretty excited to take the eye patch off the next morning. Um, the reason uh, I actually went and had the cataract surgery was obviously because I had cataracts about two years ago. Went to the eye doctor just to, for a general exam. I was going every 12 months to my eye doctor, getting a new script and new glasses every 12 months. And they had mentioned that um, I did have cataracts developing and that I would need to had do something about them at some stage in the future a couple of years ago. Um, last year, a year ago, uh, when I, I went to the eye doctor, got new glasses and then weren't, even when I got my new glasses, they weren't making all that much difference. I was still having issues with things being blurry. Um, and then more recently, um, the thing that really prompted me to do something, to go back to the eye doctor again and get a referral for my cataracts, was that I'd gone to watch a football game, and it was a night game, and the lights just on the other side of the ground, they weren't blinding, but I could... That it was just a very uncomfortable experience. I couldn't actually make out what was happening on the ground. I had to watch the um, the screen on the ground. Um, I couldn't couldn't make out who the players were. Couldn't see what where the ball was. Couldn't see any of that. So I also was having trouble when I was reading a book. Um, I'd find that numbers were disappearing off the page, or letters were disappearing off the page as I'm reading words, and it was it was really hard to read. And the computer. Sometimes I'd have to go right up to the computer to see, to see, particularly in my email, um, who a message was from. Um, just, just it was just, just blurry. I'd actually increased the font on my computer as well, and that didn't really help that much. Helped a bit, but not that much. So um, ended up getting referred for cataract surgery. The optometrist, when they looked in my eye, they said that they could see that it was blurry from, you know, when they're looking back, they could see, they could see that it was blurry as well. So from what the images that they were getting when they were photographing my retina, it was just a bit, bit of a yellow lens. So, um, decided to have the cataract surgery. Uh, I probably watched a couple of hundred, maybe, videos on different lenses and different eye doctors talking about you know, how the cataract surgery is actually done, what they do. And um, I decided, um, I pretty much was pretty, pretty much decided that I didn't really, 
I wasn't sure. I, I was pre- I was actually pretty sure that I wanted to get some type of multifocal or some type of premium lens. Uh, spoke to the doctor about that, and he he suggested either the pan. He said suggested the pan optics, but he said the problem with the pan optics was that um, I, you know some people that are really fussy and particular about things, which my wife would tell you I would actually fit in that category, um, may not be able to uh may not like the halos and the um starbursts and things at night with that pan optics lens and also with the period of adjustment and getting three images coming in um that you know some people don't like that i'd also noticed in some of the videos that i watched whenever an eye surgeon was dealing with a customer or a patient that was unhappy with the lens that they had, either a Symphony or a Pan Optics or whatever else, they always seem to replace that lens with the um, Alcorn Vivity lens. And when I looked, saw the videos on the Vivity lens, it seemed like it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good lens to me. An extended depth of focus lens that would give me good vision from the intermediate range into the distance, and. Uh, so even before I went to the eye doctor, I've been thinking about that Vivity lens, thinking that if I had to wear reading glasses, it wouldn't be a complete and utter disaster. I'd be quite happy with that if I didn't need the read, if I didn't need glasses for distance and the computer. So anyway, I told the doctor that I'd like to go for the Vivity lens, and uh, and so that that that's what he did. Uh, after the surgery, uh, within the next. The, the, the day that I took the patch off, uh, things weren't 100% clear. They were pretty good, but they weren't 100% clear, and they weren't all that clear, even in the intermediate. The distance was better, but over the... What, what I also noticed straight away was that if I, covered, uh, if I covered my poor eye, my left eye, that everything was brighter when I was looking at it through my right eye, and if I'd cover my right eye, everything would have had this slight, even white walls, etc., would have this slight yellow tinge on them. So uh, that's obviously the cataract uh, causing causing the discoloration in the vision. Um, I also did notice the first the first night um, I was getting some flickering out of my right eye, and um, my wife, when she was putting eye drops in, because I've got to use these, I've got three different eye drops that I use four times a day. So there's, an, a, there's a steroid, an antibiotic, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what the other one is, but and for inf- yeah, there's, there's three, three eye drops anyway, four times a day until I finish them. So that's going to be a few weeks at, at, the, at the rate that they're disappearing. I believe uh, in a one milliliter bottle, there's 20 drops. Uh, so all these bottles, there's one five milliliter bottle. So there's a hundred drops in that. That's going to last me 25 days. And the other two bottles are 10 mil, so they're 50 days. So I've been told to use those eye drops by the doctor until until they're finished. So um, pretty sick of putting eye drops in. Got to tell you, it's uh, I'm only 16 days out. Anyway, um, I, the other thing I noticed was my pupil size, and no one, I didn't see anyone that ever told you this, but my right eye pupil was still fully dilated um, the next day, and probably it wasn't until the Saturday that it was back down to the normal size, uh, the same size as my left pupil. Uh, My wife also said that first night, um, because of the light that she could actually, reckon she could actually see the implant in my eye, and again, I think that's mainly because the um, because the pupil was so wide. Anyway, um, within within the four days, by the Saturday, uh, the pupil was was back to normal. But my vision uh, my vision was excellent. The distance vision was just excellent, and my near my um, intermediate vision just got just got better and better. Um, during that week, and I can actually use, I can actually operate a computer now without wearing glasses, and my distance vision is perfect. I had a one-week checkup with the doctor, and um, he, according to his um, his measurements and his machines, my distance vision is better than 2020. So, really good result. Um, I'm scheduled for my 
for my surgery on my left eye in another three weeks. So I'm a bit bummed that I have to wait three weeks, but um, what can you say? Uh, just It just is what it is. But uh, the Vividi uh, implant, I'm very happy that I went with that particular implant. I'm not seeing, I'm not having any issues at night uh, with lights or anything, driving. Um, I'm not having any, I don't appear, I don't believe I've got any issues with contrast, uh, which is one of the things that they do tell you about that particular lens, um, that you can, it can reduce the contrast a bit, but I think probably not as much as the panoptics would. Um, and in uh, one of the videos of eye doctors that I have viewed a fair bit online is Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. And um, he rates the Vivity lens, um, the contrast as being good as a monofocal. Um, and he also, the other thing I didn't like about the panoptics was that there's a gap in the, um, in the um, vision um, you've got very good distance, you've got good intermediate, but there's a bit of a gap between intermediate and, and distance, and then you've got good, good near. So I just uh, decided that the Vividi one, it goes all the way from distance to, to intermediate. So with my second lens as well, um, the doctor is going to make it so that it's a little bit, uh, it's going to make me a little bit nearsighted in that left eye. So at the moment, I, my left eye isn't contributing to my vision at all. Um, I'm, I'm seeing everything out of, out of my right eye. It's very dominant. Um, so I'm hopeful that when, um, when I get my second eye done, uh, it, will, it will take over for the, for the near vision and I'll have good vision uh, near, near, intermediate and far. So that's just my experience. I hope you found it interesting.